Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to my UEFI BIOS. Um, I've been running this for a while now, and I was thinking, hey, why not dick around in here for a while? So I've loaded it back to the defaults, and I'm just going to have a bit of a play around and see what we can do with it. Uh, we're going to use the Easy Tuner Wizard. Uh, yeah, frequency, 4 ratio, 40, 131. It's going to be gaming and media editing. Next, we have a water cooler. Quite a good one, in fact. 15% performance increase. What is that going to give us? See once we get back inside. So, we... Doesn't tell us, actually. Oh, 1.312 volts. With... Fast. F7. F7. Nope. Seven. Uh, frequency of 1.42 megahertz. That's fucking nothing. It's, it's given an entire 100 millivolts, no, 10 millivolts more for 120 megahertz bonus. No way is that 15, 15 fucking percent more. What? Okay, let's, um, fuck that noise. Uh, load optimized defaults, please. Yes. So, target cache is 41 megahertz for the cache. So all it's done is slightly increase the boost clock. Uh, the base clock, sorry. That's like, it's a 3% increase. Over four cores, so at most twelve percent, and at that higher voltage, it starts at one point two something. Can I cancel that out? Oh, uh, F eleven, isn't it? Uh, F eleven. Oh, next. Media, water cooler. Next, let's do this again. See if it gives me even more of a boost, because that is, that is not. Not a good amount of boost to have, given that it's got that information. It's gotten 1.2, 120 megahertz is not much. It's less than the boost clock is. So un unfucking with it would have made it just as fast, if not faster. Still 1.32 volts. F7. Frequency 1.32. Yeah, nah. Oh, hang on, uh, so it's going to 45, 450 volts. Uh, 450 plus times 103. Let's get a calculator out real quick. Uh, where is it? Calculator. So we got 45 for the multiplier times 103 for the base clock. So that gives me a boost of 4.635 megahertz. Now I know it can go higher, but that's not bad considering the boost frequency by default is 4.2 uh, is default boost clock, and the yeah target CPU uh, boost mode is uh, 1.4.635 target cache of 4332. DRAM frequency, so we're losing about 103 megahertz on the uh, the frequency of the memory doing it this way. Can I make it any closer to 2400? 2369 should work. I oh, wait. So we'll save that. Uh, cancel, actually. We will also do the Q fan. Chase fan. Silent, no, uh, yeah, PWM silent manual. Chuck it down like that. Shouldn't get too high. Uh, escape. So we're going to leave it like this. So, uh, 2369 megahertz for the memory, 45 times 103, so 4.635 for the base clock, and 42.2 megahertz on the Cash. Let's get into the um, what do you call it? The operating system. 
and check out Cinebench and see what sort of scores we get on this one and we'll see how high we can get this particular one to go. I should have checked what the uh, if it changed the load line calibration. That is something I'll have to check in a bit. So you got a uh, Cinebench up and you're setting the priority to real time. I should probably close these applications I've got. So let's get rid of this. Steam connects it. Discord you can go away. So can the wallpaper engine. Now uh, I've got a temperature thing here. Let's see if I can drag this over. Detach. Okay, that's not going to help at all. Um, so on my keyboard, I've got it uh, right here. Got a little listing of all the crap here. All the important crap, anyway. So with that, I can see we're currently sitting at 32 degrees in BIOS with 0% usage, which isn't a you know bad place to be. But let's run a Cinebench. So the best I've managed to get is a thousand, and that was at 4.8. So let's see what 4.632 will do. 6.3, 6, 4.635. Sorry, will do. This does stop for a bit normally. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I say sixty percent usage, but uh, four point uh, sixty-three degrees. Got a total of a thousand and thirty. That's not a bad score, actually. So a thousand and thirty at four point six. Let me just write this down. And the thing is, with that setting, I can optimize it a bit by lowering the point three one two volts. Uh, lowering the voltage down down to make it run even cooler. So let's go back into the BIOS and see if I can lower that, uh, raise that up a bit by 4.7 at the same voltage. Uh, escape. So let's save this. 1030. And that was not run, run as admin. So keep that in mind. I don't know if that'll help or change anything. So let's just go back into the BIOS. I really hope I can get better doing it manually because if, if, and I don't, as much as I say I don't like the fact that it's that easy to get a good score, I really am impressed of how high it got on the first go. Also, we're back in BIOS, we're going to set, set it to XMP, which is 45, 25, 45, 24, so it's running at the rate of 2400 megahertz for the memory. Cache, we know. Where's cache? Uh, we know, so we'll try 4.7. So 47. So they're all sitting to 47. Base clock DRAM is 40. Uh, Digi DRAM, I'm not going to fuck with that. Uh, load line calibration, let's set it to level, f oop, level 3 for now. Let's just do stop the power droop. So what happens is. Uh, when you're running at uh, 4.12, we'll say, and it's sitting there going along, when it suddenly needs to jump, the power it needs, coming from the power supply, spikes, but the power supply not being not ready for that will droop, and have a power droop where it's suddenly needing to draw more power away. So you end up having a line... I don't know how to portray this better. Um, as it says, V-droop, the voltage... Basically, the higher the level, the more voltage it has ready to go by over-volting a little bit of the CPU. So if you set it to level 3, it's got a little bit of extra voltage going to it so that when it spikes, the, the power usage spikes, it doesn't get um, it doesn't end up not having enough. So if you um, if you have a really high overclock, like 5 gigahertz on a 6700 is quite high. And then, but you don't increase the load line calibration. When it goes, suddenly spikes to 5 gigahertz from 4 gigahertz or 3.8 or whatever the normal running one is, then it's entirely possible it will shut down because it can't get the voltage that it needs to run at the 5 gigahertz. But uh, we'll leave that as it is. Long line duration. Increasing value will allow turbo rate to maintain for a longer duration. Max 495. Let's do that. 495. 
Load line. Oh, nope. Uh, so cache core ratio CPU core cache current limit allows configuration current. Oh, um, let's do 440. No, yeah, 42, 43. Keep this at 1312. Oh, yeah, let's. 1.312 <laughs> Let's not completely fucking blow it up. Oh, that could have gone wrong. Uh, and we don't need to worry about anything else there. CPU configuration, min speed, hyper threading is on, virtualization. Oh, that's the thing I need to do. Uh, graphics configuration is the PCIe, so I can get hardware acceleration because for some reason, uh, F10, for some reason in Adobe Premiere Pro, if you have, well, for me at least, if you have it set to um, 1.312, if you have it set to, if I just run down, I think, if you have it set to auto and the integrated GPU is not uh, engaged at the same time, so it's just your discrete graphics card, it doesn't allow you to have hardware acceleration. And I'm not sure why. And then it's not really a bug that is hard to overcome, but it's just a weird one to have. Because, like, why is that a thing? So, once again, setting this to real time to keep it all fair. Yes, I'm aware. We are at 0% usage, 32 degrees. I should probably keep that up. Because this... Show me 4.8. 68 gigahertz at this moment. Uh, run that. That doesn't actually help me. <laughs> ah, never mind. Cheers. Oh wow, that was good timing. <laughs> oh! That gave us a 15 point boost. So that is a fuck what's the word a 200 say a 65 megahertz boost gave us a um 15 point boost in cinebench i'll see if i can zoom that in at all why i don't think this will zoom in particularly well can you focus on that? No. Oh, just just believe me that it is minus. Uh, it is a thousand and forty-five. Can you focus on this? Oh no, you cannot. What if I actually physically bring you closer? There we go. Thousand and forty-five. So we've had a thousand. We've had one thousand, one thirty, and one forty-five. Cool. So let's get to four point eight now. Uh, Forty-eight. We won't affect the V droop. We won't chuck the. We won't change any of this. Simple basic overclock. Set priority to real time. So the reason it, it's weird whenever you run it is because it runs in real time, which it can't show because it's running in real time. Oh, but it's going to work this time. Application error. Uh, can't show oh, that's Yeah, that's a whole lot of crap. Uh, let's run that again. Uh, see if we just run it as high instead of real time. If it works. Oh no, I think that's locked up. Oh, maybe not actually. Haven't crashed. Oh, blue screen. Oh, that's not good. Unware uncorrectable error. Alright, let's bump the voltage up a little bit. 
and see what that does for us. That was 48. Yeah, 48 at 1.315. It's pi 1.33. Yeah. Uh, let's chase up to four. Don't know how much an effect that'll have. Cash, let's go 43, 44. That doesn't help. Uh, 44. Um, anything else I can think we need? We don't need to fuck around with the RAM. So let's do that. So I'll reset it up to real time. See if we don't get another crash. Oh, it's actually playing it. Weird. Alright, so 100%. 70 degrees. Topped off 68 degrees at the most. Using just under 4.2.7 uh, gigabytes of RAM. That gave us... Well, even less. That gave us 1,034 points. Huh. That's new. So 1034, I'm gonna write that down real quick. So weirdly, uh, 4.8 at 1.33 only gave us 1034. Four? 35, sorry. 1035. 10, uh, 1.33 volts it was. So, that was. Hang on. Ah, oh, I changed priority. Maybe I didn't change the priority. Let's do that again. That did seem a bit weird that I only got a. um That it was lower than 4.7. But if it was running a normal priority, that would make sense. So that gave us. Uh, oh, 1065. That's really not bad. Uh, 1065. So that was 4.8 and 1.33 volts. Which gave us 1065. Just tab, tab you over. So the, what I'm writing down here is just a text document that has apparently frozen. <laughs> Word just died. Why? So each time... So 4.63... Got 1,030 at this point, uh, 10, 1,000, uh, 4.7 at the same voltage, it gave us 1,045, and 4.8 at 1.33 volts gave us uh, 1,065. Once we get to a point, like a, a maximum that I can get this to run at, so we're going to go for 4.9 now, for this I will boost the... Uh, the voltage a bit more. Uh, 49. Let's give it, because I know people online are going like 1.4 something for stable, so I'm going to go like 1.42. Let's go 1.39. Keep it under that 1.4 range. Uh, F10 that, ah. Uh, Put this up to fucking. Put this up to five. Ten. I don't need to, I don't think. But that's 4.5, this shit. So I know that five, five gigahertz is really impressive for, um, for an i7-6700K. Well, I think the. I think the world record is something like seven gigahertz. But I'm not sure. Cool. So at idle. I'm still sitting at 34 degrees. Uh, currently at 4.8 gigahertz. Way of having to finish doing what it's doing. Yeah, 4.88 gigahertz. Let's go! That gave us... Oh, 1,086! We're getting quite close, actually, to that 6 core. Uh, i7 3930k, which is a 6 core, but that's running at 3.3 gigahertz. So, 1086. So, that's another 20 point boost on that. 
Let's exit out of here. What I'm going to do, why have you done that again? This keeps moving up here. I don't know why. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download Ida64. Unless I already have it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to download Ida64. I'm going to get that up. I'm going to give that a run and see if this will even run Ida64. Uh, let's get to the stress test. So we're not going to stress the menu. We've got cache, FPU, and CPU. Uh, let's start that. Let's get all these showing everything. Got the temperature showing. 30, 32, CPU 32. Let's uh, run this. Let's see if it works. Oh. <laughs> Running 83 degrees, 82, 86, I saw there. I saw 87 for a second. Well, we can see we're hovering, hovering around the 72 degree. Oh! Hardware failure detected. Now, let's see if that was cash related. So it's stress the cache. Everything but the cache. Nah, it's to do with the FPUs. Let's try just the CPU. So it would appear uh, this has only been going for about 30 seconds or so. About two minutes. So it would appear that um, the cache is the issue. Cache and FPU. So what I'm going to do is go back into the BIOS and reset the cache down to um, the default speeds so just set it to auto and leave it at that and see if this allows us to run at uh, 4.9 with no issues as either. This is running 1.39 gigahertz which is pretty pretty low considering what I've seen online people needing something like 1.44 to get 4.8 uh, cash auto auto yeah 1.39 let's try 1.38 because it's saying 1. Uh, 1.37 something it was running at in uh, Ida doing the stress test in Ida so let's just do that we've got cash level 5 f10 that shit 1086, that's... No, 1082, sorry. So is that best? A little bit worse than we got at 1.39. That's just 1.38. Uh, 1085. 1082, it's not a huge difference. We run it again just because of the variance you can get with Zinebench. It could change it. Wow, that fan boosted up a lot more than they did before. Uh, not exact same, but other than 82. Okay, so it's slightly worse on Cinebench than it was. Now we don't need to keep that. Let's check out Ida. Either way, I don't care. Uh, it's trial version, CP throttling, measured temperature. Yep, that's okay. System memory. We don't need a stress system memory because now nah, so the cache is definitely an issue. We're at 49 seconds without cache going. Let's just see if the CPU itself goes because if I can set the cache to like 41, which is its default, and lock it at 41, which and then in theory it'll still be running in spec. Or I could always pump more voltage into it because, as I said, people have been needing like 1.4 plus to get even what I'm get what I was able to get for uh, the 1.6. So yeah, so just with this preliminary test, it seems like it's just the um, just the CPU that's the issue, uh, just the um, FPU and cache that are the issues. So if I if I lock the cache down at 4.1 then that may be okay. So let's do that. Let's lock the cache down. So restart. 
Fuck the ID64 test, nobody needs it. God, I'm setting it to 1.44 volts. This is the highest I've ever set it to. I'm going to also, you're going to have to excuse the noise. The, I'm going to put the microphone as far away as, as I can. But I'm also going to put the fans up quite high. Uh, just to keep it all cool. So if I sort of do it like this. Keep them at 50 degree, at 50% 50 the entire way. Once they get past 40C, I suppose. They'll really quickly jump up. Not to a hundred. They'll probably jump up to a hundred anyway. I'll leave it like that. It's a 1.44 volts. Highest I've ever put it. Cash at what, 41? Let's hope this doesn't break. It, it shouldn't. Does have a max of 1.7. But that's probably at the point where you're trying to kill it. That's liquid nitrogen levels, probably. Alright, get ready for the noise. Oh, it jumps to 81 degrees. Oh! Immediately. 81 degrees before it's even fucking started. See, that gets, that's even lower. That's 1,084. How is that worse than at 1.39? Wasn't, was it thermal throttling? I'll just bring up hardware monitor. This will give us a rough guide as to whether or not it was. Uh, temperature is 35 to 6, so let's run that again. And it'll tell us the maximum temperature once it's uh, finished. Because it... Uh, it being a lower score to high voltage, that does not make sense. We're going to stress everything. We're seeing it, this is a 1 point, or 4.4, I think it was, 4.9 4 at 1.42 volts, 1.44 volts it seems. Uh, let's start this up. Ready for the noise, boys. Like, um, and you can still hear the fans going. Seems like this seems to be, so far, a pretty stable overclock. So this is 4.9 at 1.41, uh, which ended up being, uh, where was it? 1.424, so it must be 1.42, I must have typed in, but 1.42. Uh, volts, which is a lot better because uh, if I can find it, there we go. This, I don't know if that's readable. Uh, let me zoom it in a bit. This is what people are having to get for 4.9, uh, 1.44 volts, which with mine being on overclock, uh, I'm delayed, sorry means that it is thermal throttling a little bit and causes uh, spinning out uh, no issues, it's not spinning out any issues in IL64 but that means I'm 0.2 volts, 0.02 volts less than what you need to be in the top 6% and I'm assuming, I don't know, this is just from Silicon Lottery I'm assuming that that is um that they they sell delitted processors. Now I, I'm not going to be keeping it this as this 4.9 because the thermal interface that um, they use in these processors aren't really rated for constant 90 degree use. Granted, this is a hundred percent. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to leave it like this for a while. I'm going to do one more Cinebench run because I can't remember what score it got. Yeah, 14 minutes, no issues. Granted, the fans, the water's barely warm. And the fans are kicking up their height because it's forced to inside a BIOS. And I can't be fucked messing around with a speed fan. But if I bring up Cinebench once again, uh, bring up Cinebench, 
that out and give it a run. Oh, this is just a normal. We'll see what it gets at normal. Jumping up to 83%, 84 degrees, sorry. So yeah, it's rather than 10 degrees. There's no thermal throttling with a max. 87 degrees, that's not bad. Weird thing that I've noticed with I had a six uh, with Prime Money 5, and I haven't looked at um anyone else, is it shows Windows 8 64 bit build 9200. I don't know why, it also shows 4 cores 8 threads at 4.01 gigahertz. But I don't know why it shows it like that. Uh, set priority to real time. Let's do that. Let's close down Chrome as well. I had that running before. That got me a thousand and eighty three. A thousand and eighty three. That is three points lower than somehow three points lower than running at one point three nine. But it isn't failing in Ida 64, which is the important part. So let me just type type that in. P A S S. It passed. Cool. So we'll leave it at that. There's a quick rundown actually of how you would overclock a CPU. I believe it's the same for the more modern ones, especially if you're using an Asus UEFI BIOS. Uh, and I hope you have a nice morning, a nice evening, a nice afternoon. And ta everyone.